Well, I had a different video planned for this week, but then I got some box. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you stuck around and watched towards the end of the last video, you'll understand what's going on here. I did a short explanation on why I want to switch up the tires on my no prep car, but today I'll give a little more detail on my reasoning. I got another set of the Proline split six bead lock wheels and two sets of the DE racing tires. I'm going to try out the soft compound and the clay compound and see which one is better for me. I think it's pretty obvious these bright red bead lock wheels won't match well on my car. I printed out a set of my custom 3D printed rings, so I'll get these tires mounted and we'll come back and talk about the difference between these and my current setup. So it looks like I made a little bit of a mistake. This is the inside bead of the DE racing tire and you can see these ribs here that are different than this tire. This is the inside bead of the Proline Reaction tire on the dragster. You can see that it has a groove that the wheel fits directly in and these DE tires don't have that. So being that I already have these, what I did was went through and cut out all of the ribs of the tire. Now it should fit better to the lip of the wheel and hold it tight. I need to cut the second tire the same way and then I can finally get them installed. So now that I have them all together, I have three different wheel and tire combos here. First, I have the new combo, the DE Racing tire with the Proline Split 6 wheel. The Proline Split 6 with the Proline Reaction tires that I run on the front engine dragster. And this is the tire I just took off of the no prep car. This is a Proline Fault Line wheel with the Prime 2.2 truck tires. The unexpected problem I ran into with the new tires kind of changed up what I originally wanted to go over, but I want to try to explain to you my thoughts behind going to a short course style tire. It's easier to see in the Reaction tires comparing them to the Primes. The Reactions have a nice flat contact patch with the ground. It might be hard to see with the black on black of the mat, but the surface of the tire that touches the ground is nice and wide. The way the prime tire bulges and curves when mounted results in the contact patch being in the center. The wear pattern is directly down the middle and the outside edges of the tire barely ever touch the ground. Now, the DE racing tires have a slight curve on the surface because of the issues I ran into with them. I'm hoping that as they start to wear in, it'll have more of an even wear, which it looks like it will. Another thing with the new tires is the height difference. You can see the new tire is about a quarter to three eighths of an inch taller than the primes that were on the car. This should definitely help with wheel speed and also possibly give me more suspension tuning. I may be able to soften it up a little bit if it sits higher. You might have also noticed they're a little narrower. I run the Corvette body a lot, and that's because the primes would rub on the inside of the Nova body. You can see on an older tire where it rubbed the paint marks that I put off of the tire, and on this tire you can even see exactly where the contact patch is, and where it wears more down the middle than on the edges. So these tires should tuck up under the body better since they are narrower. I'm hoping to see better tire wear and more traction with these new DE racing tires. These are the soft compounds that I have mounted, but I also picked up a set in the clay compound in case the soft tires are a little too soft. I would say the clay compound is unsurprisingly a little stiffer and may actually form better when mounted. By that I mean it might not bulge up as much since it's stiffer, but we'll see. I'm going to try out the softs first since I already have them mounted. The soft in the DE racing tire is actually a little harder than the soft compound in the prime tires. This is the first tire I ever used on my no prep car. The tires I just took off are the clays. I believe it's the gold compound and they feel relatively similar. Obviously, this one is a little worn out, but they feel about the same. 
The clay DE racing compound tires definitely feel a little stiffer than the clay primes and they actually feel stickier already too without even being worn in which is interesting. You may have seen the video where I did some belting to the Proline Prime tires. I didn't do anything like that to the new tires. Being that it's a 2.2, 3.0 tire, I'm not expecting near as much ballooning as the 2.2 truck tires. The reactions are obviously belted already and I don't see any ballooning with them, but that's their specialty. I'll see how these work and if I see too much ballooning, then I'll decide if I want to belt them. I left the foams in the new tires to start. I didn't actually show any video of it yet, but I took the foams out of the reactions so that the tire can flex a little more on launch and maybe help me get a little more traction in the dragster. But that's a completely different video. I'm going to get these on the car and we'll finish up this video. So the wheels are back on the car. I went ahead and did something I said I would do a long time ago and never did. I added some silver accents to the front wheels as well. Should give the car a little different look just to see if what I was talking about will actually be the case. Yep, that's a lot better. Let me flip this around. And you can see the tire tucks under much better and shouldn't rub anymore. Hopefully you can see a little of what I meant about how the contact patch of the tire is a little wider now that the tire is on the car. It looks like I may have a little more suspension travel because of that extra height on the tire like we talked about. I'm really excited to try these out, but I actually have one more change to make to the car. You may have spotted it in the box during the intro if you were paying close attention. If not, you might know what it is already if you stuck around at the end of last week's video where I talked about the couple changes I was thinking about. That'll be a whole nother video on its own though. Today I really wanted to go over the tires. Like I said, I'm pretty interested in this change. If it stays up, a little bit of a taller tire which should equal more wheel speed and even though it's not as wide the contact patch itself should be wider on the tire. They are a little uneven I'll have to clean that up on the street lathe. Get them out there and start to wear them in. Although I did make a 3D printable tire balancer I wasn't completely happy with it. I really need to pick up an actual balancer, but for now, we're just going to run them like they are and see what happens. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. If not, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know what you think it looks like. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. You won't want to miss that next video on this car with that last change. As always, thanks again for watching. Peace.